Hi, in this video, we'll make much healthier sattvic versions of two staple Indian recipes, khichdi and dalia. Let's start with making sattvic khichdi. This dish makes for a very nutritious and satisfying lunch. In sattvic khichdi, if we use one cup of rice, we use four times more vegetables. Why? Because grains are a water poor food. When eaten alone, they're difficult to digest. But when we mix grains with vegetables, the grains become much easier to digest. So as a rule, always try to eat less grains and more vegetables. Okay, let's begin with the recipe. The ingredients you will need are brown rice soaked in water for about 3 hours, plain water, finely chopped green beans, grated carrot, grated bottle guard, finely chopped spinach, chopped tomato, turmeric powder, small green chilies finely crushed, coconut which has been sliced and then blended in a mixer, chopped coriander and rock salt. If you want the perfect taste, make sure to follow the measurements given using proper measuring cups and spoons, at least for the first few days. This recipe serves three people. First, take a clay pot, place the soaked brown rice along with six cups of water in it. Let it cook on a low flame till the rice turns soft for about 4-5 to five minutes. Keep stirring in between. Add the beans, carrots, bottle guard, and turmeric and cook for another 15 minutes till the rice and vegetables turn soft. Add more water if required. Then add the spinach and green chilies and cook for another 5 minutes. Lastly, turn off the stove to add the tomatoes, salt and coconut. Remember, you should never cook tomatoes and coconut directly on the flame. They both have heat-sensitive nutrients which get destroyed when put on the stove. After adding tomato and coconut, keep the pot covered for 5 more minutes to allow all the flavours to come together. Garnish with coriander and serve with green chutney. You'll find the recipe for green chutney in the link below this video. Your vegetable-packed sattvic khichdi is ready to be served. Even though we haven't added any oil, you won't even feel that there's no oil in this khichdi because we added fresh grated coconut, which releases its own natural oils. Let's move on to our second recipe, sattvic dalia. This also makes a perfect lunch meal. Unlike the traditional dalia, this one is also made with lots of vegetables and still tastes quite nice. The ingredients you'll need are broken wheat porridge, also called dalia, plain water, finely chopped green beans, chopped carrot, green peas, human seeds, small green chilies which have been very finely crushed, fresh coriander and rock salt. This recipe serves 2-3 to three people. First, roast the dalia on a medium flame in a pot till it turns light brown. Then, take it out in a bowl. Take another pot, heat it on a medium flame. Add the cumin seeds and roast till they are dark brown. Add the beans, carrots and peas and stir well. Add the finely crushed green chilies and stir again. Then add 4 cups of water to the pot and let it come to a boil. Then add the roasted dalia to the pot. Cover the pot and keep the stove on a medium flame till the dalia absorbs all the water. Once everything is cooked, turn off the stove. Add rock salt and keep the pot covered for 5 minutes for all the flavours to come together. As you can see, we're using a clay pot to make our food. It's the best material to use as it retains the nutrients in your food. Garnish with generous amounts of fresh coriander and enjoy with green chutney. For more such healing recipes, order the Sattvic food book online. This food book is a guide that tells you how you can heal any disease just by changing your food without any medicines. It comprises of about 50 healing recipes. The principles in this book are based on ancient wisdom of our Vedas while the cuisine is best designed to fit our busy modern lifestyle. So I hope that you make these recipes at home. Comment below what are the other dishes that you want us to make sattvic versions of. Goodbye for now and I'll see you in the next video.